It was a great year in sports this year. It's kind of quick for some seasons. Girls volleyball had a great year. They finished four and two, first in the league by beating Catella uh, in the last game of the season. Great job, ladies. They had to play all their games outside this year, uh, but they still excelled. And a big congratulations go out to our seniors, Therese Tosi, Leonice Gassetan, Jesse Huang, Trang Vo, and Brittany Tran. Congratulations, ladies. Hi, I'm very proud of our cross-country runners who had to persevere through a lot of adversity this season and they ended up putting between 30 and 50 miles a week even though there were so many cancellations and restrictions. I would also definitely like to give recognition to some of our standout runners who ended up coming out and competing to the very end at league finals in Huntington Beach. I called them the thin red line because they never gave up. We ended up tying the girls versus Westminster and beating the boys Westminster team to finish up with a good finish. Uh, on the girls side we have some standouts. Uh, Melanie Alba, Alina Nguyen, Jasmine Chow, and Jay Choi. On the boys side some standouts were Aaron Barragon, Jathan Russell, David Kim, uh, Kevin Pham, Juan Pablo Chavez, and Roberto Mejia. Great job Argos and now good luck in track and field. Our boys water polo team got to play seven games over a 15 day period. Of those games they won four, including two out of their three league games. They were competitive in every game and Dick took second place in the Golden West League. The team was led by Brian Pham and Hui Vu who often traded offensive and defensive roles throughout our games. I'm proud of them all for putting in six months of very limited and often repetitive practice for their two weeks of games. It was both the longest and shortest season ever and the boys stayed committed throughout even when it got cold. Our girls water polo team also played seven games over 15 days. Of those, they won six and barely lost the other one. This includes winning all three of their league games, each by a considerable margin, to win their first ever Golden West League Championship. The team was led by Lucia Lopez, Persephone Taylor, and goalie Cindy Seha. Our season ended with a non-league game against Buena Park, which ended with a rare, tie-breaking, buzzer-beating, game-winning shot by senior captain and multiple-time team MVP, Lucia Lopez. To all the water polo players, this year was a year unlike any other. I know we had a lot of disappointments and a lot of waiting around for things, um, but in the end, we were able to play our games and have a great season. I'm so proud of you all for sticking through it the whole time, and I'm honored to be your coach this year. This year's football team had a great season. We started out practicing in September and ended up having our season in the spring. First spring football season in Garden Grove High School history. Our offense was led by quarterback Vanny Rodriguez, running back Malachi Bay, and wide receivers Jason Bruce and Zalon Lowball Gibbs. Our best players on defense were Andrew Din, Jalen Lightfoot, Sean Floor, and Eli Santana. And Jordan Sanchez did everything for us on special teams. I would like to thank all of our seniors for all their hard work this year. We also started 11 sophomores, so the future is bright. If you're interested in playing football this upcoming season, please email me. And I'm just really proud of our football team this year. They worked really hard and they were all great kids. This year, we were the only team to compete in Garden Grove. It's our first time ever winning nationals in the Varsity Show Cheer non-tumbling advanced division. Our amazing seniors are Melissa Hernandez, Charlie Corona, Natalie Cijete, and Lena Lee. Every year, I let the seniors design one of my nails any way they'd like, so be on the lookout for some new nail designs. Our awesome coach, Monica, has been with these ladies since their freshman year. She's very proud of all they have accomplished. This is last year's second place trophy. We are waiting on our first place. Congratulations, ladies. I am so proud of you on this historical accomplishment. I love you. Great job out there, Argos. Those seasons are over now. We still have several seasons that are taking place, and we're looking forward to recapping all the sports seasons when the year ends. I can't believe our senior year has been stolen. No senior walk, no prom, no rally, nothing. Although we didn't step into our senior year together, let us leave it with a memory that isn't logging into Zoom. We are so excited to invite you to our very own senior sunset this Friday, May 7th from 6.30 to 7.30 at the Michael Monsoor Stadium. Masks must be worn and we unfortunately cannot have food, but you can expect a night to hang out with friends, take photos, and enjoy our first and last sunset together. Please be sure to fill out the health screening form on Parent Square before attending. We will also be providing hand sanitizer. It's tonight, right here. And you can't miss it. We can't wait to see you. What's up, Argos? 
GGASB is still selling a collection of stickers and 100 year apparel on our Redbubble website. Just click the link below, scroll through the catalog, and you can find a variety of stickers and 100th year apparel. Order now! Hey, where are you guys? Where are you? Where are you? The seniors took their portraits for the yearbook already, but, but freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, you guys are nowhere to be found. I know you're not excited about these school portraits, but this is our school's 100th anniversary, and we want you to be a part of history. Next Thursday, May 13th, and Friday, May 14th, our 9th through 11th graders will be taking their portraits. If you are in person, you'll be taking your portraits in your English classes. If you are distance learning, please come in during Argo Academics. Oh, it's free to take the portrait. But if you want, you can purchase through Live Touch. We'll send you some info through Parent Square and Google Classroom. You have to be there. You have to be there. Our historic yearbook won't be the same without you. These portraits are the before shot to your future glorious self. Hi there. We really want to show our appreciation to our educational leaders, especially this year. On March 1st, we celebrated School Principals Day. This year, we definitely want to show our appreciation to Mr. Nurk. He's let our school through this whole pandemic and how hard a job has that been so make sure to go out there and show mr nurk how much you appreciate everything he's done everyone from students to teachers to the entire staff thank you mr nurk for all you've done for us and we look forward to a normal year next year grove 100